and he and so many gracious people from the Jewish community are showing showering me the love to help and helping to guide me to the promised land. Literally, I am excited to announce that I have been invited to Israel, which is a lifelong dream where I will receive teachings, lessons, and truth about the Jewish history. As someone who is in pursuit for my PhD in theology and divinity, and just received a degree in criminal justice from the Greyhound Howard University. This would be an enriching, enlightening, and overall exciting trip. As for Viacom, who is now on the wrong side of history, I continue to pray for you. I don't blame any individual. I blame the oppressive and racist infrastructure. Systematic racism is what this world was built on and was the subject in which I was attempting to highlight in the recent clips that have been circulating from my podcast. If I have further to hate speech, I wholeheartedly apologize. But now I am the one making demands. I demand full ownership of my billion dollar company, billion dollar wild now brand that I created, and they will continue to misuse and destroy about my leadership. I demand that the hate and backdoor bullying cease. While, and while we're at it, now the truth is out. I demand the apology. Well, first of all. Once again, Viacom is not on the wrong side of history here. You are. Second of all, you cannot demand full ownership of the show because you just got fired. I know you were the one that presented the show, but Viacom CBS is the one that owns 50% of the of the stakes. Remember? And they will not continue to misuse your brand and destroy the leadership. They're going to replace you as the host, I assume. I assume they're going to replace you as the line out host. And by income CBS, by the way, they will not demand They, they will not demand themselves to apologize to you. Like, all you should have said was, I'm sorry, instead of giving this, giving out this long, long, uh, history class speech. Okay? Instead of doing that, you should have you should have actually made an apology, not a rant. And besides, the apology you gave, quote, is half of it. You should have gave a long written apology, just like you gave in this long written rant. This long written rant is not an apology. Because because you said the last part, like right here, if I have heard your hate speech, I wholeheartedly apologize. That's not enough of an apology, you know. You have to really apologize. Nick Kennedy, please do better. I am very, very, very disappointed of you as a fan who, who I watched for years since Nickelodeon and MTV days. You need to be the bigger person and just suck it the fuck up. 